Princess Anne and Sophie, Countess of Wessex have been hailed on GB News as worthy candidates to fill in for King Charles III for certain royal events if he is unable to attend. Buckingham Palace is reportedly in talks with the UK government to establish which royals should be called on to represent the firm if the king is detained or abroad, with new rules apparently being drafted to abstain Princes Harry and Andrew from this task. Currently these councillors are appointed from the four most senior royals in the line of succession and the consort, which would be Queen Camilla, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Sussex, the Duke of York and Princess Beatrice. However, there has been debate recently as to whether this should be changed given that Harry and Andrew are no longer working royals. Princess Beatrice is also not officially a member of the working royal family. Speaking on GB News, former Daily Star editor Dawn Neesoms said, There's two people there that really really are worthy of the job, that's Princess Anne and Sophie. They're not even allowed. It's ridiculous. Princess Anne's the hardest working royal. Sophie was just amazing support for the Queen and one of the favourites for her to spend her last few days with. Those two women should really be the councillors. Labour peer Viscount Stansgate this week put forward the question of the Regency Act in the House of Lords. He asked, are the government happy to continue with a situation where the councils of state and regency powers may be exercised by the Duke of York or the Duke of Sussex, one of whom has left public life and the other of whom has left the country? Is it not time for the government to approach the king to see whether a sensible amendment can be made to this act? Constitutional expert at Bangor University Dr. Craig Prescott told The Times, if you add Prince Edward and Princess Anne then it allows the Prince of Wales to travel overseas at the same time as King Charles. It just makes their calendar much easier to manage. Thank <laughs> you.